Let's see, we've got a new viewer out. Uh, it's not that new at this point. Dirt Viewer 516 is the latest mate release. Um, <clears throat> bug fixes and fun things like that. Uh, so now we're doing the usual round of merges and things. Um, probably our next promotion will be the CEF update viewer. That's at least one that we're trying to get out in an RC soon. Um, and uh, we'll kind of see from there. Ryder, do you want to talk about any uh, things simulator-ish? Sorry, it was just uh, chewing. Um, let's see. Uh, no, uh, nothing too big to report on on the simulator side uh, uh, that I have not reported at the uh, the, the SUG. Um, I, I'll I'll comment that the that uh, the next main viewer should have. Both the uh, the 360 cap and a debug uh, console command, so that estate managers can can set EEP across an entire estate. But uh, yeah, that's about it. Which does mean that we, sometime in the not too distant future, are going to be fixing the mainland darkness bug. Well, that, yes, that's 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 that is the that is the implication. Yeah. Uh, your writer also mentioned the 360 support. Um, I, I don't know if you guys have all heard already, but we're working on. Callum has revived his uh, uh, panorama creating viewer, so um, you can. It basically takes snapshots from all directions and and munges them together into a. Uh, kind of a sphere map of uh, your your whole surroundings, and then you can view it in in uh, browsers in various places. Um, so sometime, probably not too distant future, there will be a project viewer that lets people play with that. And but it does depend on a one simulator side change, just to uh, just so the viewer can tell the simulator, hey, send me all the Send me information about everything rather than just the things that are kind of in front of me. Um, I actually want to address uh, Coffee's comment, if I can break in here for a moment. Um, the more I think about it, the more that a uh, uh, a perms check is uh, is is called for on that. Um, po probably no, not a perm that would be auto granted in 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 a uh, not a perm that would be auto granted in a uh, experience either. So, what permission would you be checking for then? I'd set up a new permission. So it's something that's per experience but needs to be uh needs to be set to something other than the default no no it would it would ask the it would ask the uh person running the excuse me the person running the script um may this script access uh have access to to uh uh to your friend uh to to the friends list oh i see But it it's the more I think about it, the the more convinced I am that it is not something that should be allowed invisibly behind the scenes under any circumstances. So the the concern is scripts that are created by you know, a, a merchant or some third party, and then, you know, you're not sure kind of what they're doing behind the scenes. Right, right. And and I've seen enough drama at some of the clubs to know that some people would, would do exactly, would say, 
oh, you're friends with that person I don't get along with and have banned, so I am banning you too. And and that's just that's just an avenue for drama. The added complexity does push it out farther back. It does push it farther back though. Ah, uh, yes, but why add to the why add to the drama potential? If 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 a script wants to access if a script wants to access your friends list, it needs to be upfront about it. There was a question a little ways back about snapshot window improvements. Uh, we're not specifically looking at that. I mean, there's a little bit of new UI to support the uh, uh, panorama creation, um, but it's not really addressing other stuff. What kind of improvements are you looking for there? Oh, these are changes that were already in progress with the previous uh, iteration of the 360 snapshot window. In that, in that case, I'm not sure. I don't know if those are getting pulled into the current iteration of the viewer or not. Yeah, the 360 uh, viewer has been on hold for quite a while. I, I dropped Callum a, a message about that. If I hear from him, I'll let you know. Got uh, graphics folks here too. Anybody want to talk about what we're up to there? Euclid or Ptolemy? Hear me now? Yep. OK. Um, uh, our focus in the last couple of weeks and probably for the next couple of weeks is uh, integrating Tracy into the viewer. Um, we've just had this uh, longstanding goal to improve our performance profiling capability. And uh, we've launched a project to do that. and. It's, you know, halfway done probably or, or a little bit more. And I know uh, uh, most uh, or at least several of the other uh, TVVs are already using Tracy, so we thought we'd get on board and uh, integrate that into the viewer as well. That's really the only thing we've been doing for the uh, last few weeks. Not familiar with Optic. Is that another embedded profiler?
that looks pretty pretty similar to Tracy. Uh, the Tracy integration will will be part of the the viewer code, so so yes, and the the third party library. We're basically compiling Tracy into a static library, and using our uh, the same way as all the other static open source libraries. So it'll all be part of the uh, the repo. However, it, it's not we're not planning to ever ship it enabled. It'll be a uh, a command line switch that will be, you know, a dev will have to be building the viewer to turn it on. All right. Well, that may be about it for news on our end. Anything uh, new that you guys are up to? Yeah, I saw that coffee. Thanks for sending it along. I, I'm actually about to run off for a couple of weeks, so um, I, if if you don't get any immediate response, I'm, I'm not ignoring you. I'm just uh, off the grid for a bit. Um, but uh, uh, once I get back in uh, early August, I'll have uh, have more time to be looking at that stuff. Okay, sounds good. Eat direct chat messages that start with an at sign and won't show them to the viewer. Uh, don't know. I will try and use it for RLV. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't know anything about that one. I'll see if I can find out anything.
Um, really, if you don't want to show things to the user, I strongly recommend against the at um, and instead pick a, pick a channel. Oh. Oh. So it's not clear to me whether this is even a viewer feature. It's something that's getting pruned out by the simulator. No, it it it's if if they saw the code, then it's then it's on the viewer side. Uh, well, maybe. How does the viewer know the difference between something that's LL region say to and something that's just? That's what I'm not sure about. Typed. Yeah. It might it might be able to check that it's coming from an well I mean, it it must know because it uh, it does it in different colors. All right, so it's so it's a directed chat with an at. That is that is a. Uh, sounds like it sounds like an unofficial feature. Ventures. And especially, but especially if it's already, uh, especially if it's already in place, then uh, and in place and widely used. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, I guess the short answer is we don't know the history of that. Um, if there's lots of content out there that depends on it, then we would be probably relatively unlikely to change it because it would generate a great deal of consternation. That's not quite the same thing as saying that there's an explicit spec that says it's supposed to work that way. Oh, okay. Thanks for the code link, Kitty. So what did you do with uh, occlusion for water? You're, you're trying to detect the case that there's not any water that's actually visible? Yeah, that seems like an excellent idea. Yeah, we've seen some really surprising numbers for performance impact of water that isn't even there. Yeah, the biggest problem is that for the reflections, we render everything, uh, and then we render the train on top of that, so we're basically throwing all that work away. So, so yeah, occlusion should see some really nice uh, uplift with that.
All right. Well, anything else we should cover this week? All right. I guess we'll run off then. Thanks for coming, and we'll talk to you next time. Thanks, everyone. What did you discover? I guess he ninja logged. <laughs> Probably wants to get started on his vacation. <laughs> I, I'll uh, I'll make sure that you get a chance to talk next time. Then we we can know that actually. Maybe if you go first, then maybe it won't get skipped. Oh, is there? Uh, let me check my calendar. You're probably right. Uh, next week, nothing. Uh, yeah, it should be on the 6th, I believe. <laughs>